Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is Game Warden Supervisor, Jackie Lundstrom. Today we're gonna to talk boating safety. Jackie, the uh, 2020 to 2022 North Dakota Boating Safety Guide just came out. What can boaters and recreationists find in that guide? That guide will cover all of North Dakota's boating regulations, both for motorized and motor non-motorized vessels, as well as any safety equipment that is required. Jackie, this is a first of a three-year cycle for boating registration for motorized watercraft too. Correct. All of our registrations expired in December 2019, so any previously registered North Dakota boat does need to be renewed and the sticker will be orange in color with the 22 in the middle. That sticker cannot be altered in any way and has to be put on the boat as it is received by the registered owner. How many motorized watercraft are registered in the state of North Dakota? In the year ending 2019, we had over 65,000 registered motorized vessels. Uh, with these uncertain times, Game and Fish is recommending a lot of social distancing this summer. Correct. We are recommending everybody follow the CDC guidelines that are put forth for social distancing both on the water and in the boat and on the sandbars. Jackie, let's talk some boating basics. Let's go into PFDs or life jackets first. So every vessel, motorized and non-motorized, has to have a wearable life jacket on board for everybody. If a boat is 16 feet or over, it also has to have a throwable uh, PFD as well. Okay, and there's a rule if you're 10 and under, you have to have your life jacket on? Correct, any youth 10 years of age or younger, while the boat's under power, has to be wearing their life jacket. Okay, let's talk jet skis. What, what are the rules and regs on having a life jacket on? Jet skis um, are required, their operator and occupants are required to wear their life jacket at all times while the jet ski's under power. Okay, and if they're pulling tubers or skiers, do they have to have life jackets on? Correct. Tubers, skiers, kneeboarders all have to have life jackets on as well. Okay, we're starting to see a lot more people paddle boarding, canoeing, um, kayaking. What are the rules and regs as far as PFDs or life jackets for those? So all of those human powered vessels, including paddle boards, all need to have a wearable life jacket on board. It doesn't have to be on, but we obviously always encourage wearing your life jacket. Okay, we're seeing a lot of people shore fishing, uh, Obviously anglers are out using their boats fishing. What's the 100 foot rule? So the 100 foot rule is in regards to the speed of the boat and persons on shore or within another boat. If you're operating a boat or other vessel at faster than idle speed, it is a violation within 100 feet. So if you're within 100 feet of a person on shore, you have to be going idle speed. That regulation doesn't mean that they cannot be within that 100 feet, it just regulates the speed at which within that distance. What do boaters need on their boat to be legal? First and foremost, obviously a current registration. They also need all of the required safety equipment, the wearable life jackets, the throwable PFD, fire extinguisher, and a bell or whistle. A lot of people have their boats in marinas um, and dealerships put them in and take them out, put them in and take them out they need to have that boat registration on before hitting the water. Correct. So once you, you have that service put, place your boat in the water, you wanna make sure the first thing that you do when you use it for the year is make sure your current registration stickers are on. Okay, and bottom line, just use common sense while out boating or on sandbars this summer. Correct, we just wanna make sure everyone gets home safely. Jackie, uh, certain people have to take a boater education course. Explain the boater education courses North Dakota Game and Fish offers. So if a youth between the ages of 12 and 15 want to be able to operate a motorized vessel over 10 horsepower, they have to have taken the North Dakota Game and Fish authorized boater safety course. Um, if they're with an adult, they don't, but without an adult they, supervision, they would need that course. We encourage all people to take that course. It's very informational and you know, even us as adults can learn information in there. A lot of great information, Jackie, thank you. For all the boating rules and regulations, pick up a 2020 to 2022 North Dakota Boat and Water Safety Guide or visit the Game and Fish Department's website at gf.nd.gov. For Game Warden Supervisor Jackie Lundstrom and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.